to Couch Talk. Here we are. <laughs> All three of us today. Ta-da! How exciting. <laughs> That's because we have important information. Yes. Right? Very important information. It's important. Yes. <laughs> First, I wanted to give you an update on our Sunrise Respite Ministry yeah. that started the first uh, Monday in March and is going really well. We already have 12 participants wow. Wow. signed up. So, uh, it's really up to the limit, uh, but uh, we're just praying how to move forward. However, uh, I wanted to point out that we have wonderful volunteers, but only one male volunteer, <laughs> and, and most of our participants are men. So I want to encourage uh, our men in our community. If uh, You might feel like you don't know how to do this, and we give training, we have training, that if you'd like to come out and see if maybe the Lord is leading you to serve uh, on one Monday a month uh, from 10 to 2, that you would uh, just uh, come and help us. It, it's really needed. Uh, and speaking of volunteers, you know, uh, as the church, as we are, a lot of people are returning, we actually need volunteers in many yes. areas. Yes. And so we have created a, a way that you can check out volunteer opportunities in our website. You go to our, our website and your computer or phone, uh, lakedeatonumc.com, and then find a page that is called Serve, uh, which That's I just pretty went. Easy. Yeah. Yes, I just checked it out. It, you go to Serve, and on there, and the page that, uh, it, that says Serve, there's the different groups. Uh, you click on it that you can uh, participate on, uh, and it's just anything that you might be interested mm -hmm. in, you will find it in there. You click and you sign up, you put your name and email, and someone will contact mm -hmm. you. So I encourage you to check that yes. out if, and, and find a way to serve and yeah. plug in. Because we always encourage that everyone in the yes. church needs to find a place to serve, yes. both inside the church and then outside the yes. church. The exactly. World. So everyone should be serving somewhere. So this is a way to find that spot. So thank you, so, Moya. What else do we have? Well, do you know what? Easter is it's almost coming. here. <laughs> it's hard to believe that next week is already Holy Week. Yes, and so we have some things planned for during the week that I want to talk about on. Thursday, April 1st, and Friday, April 2nd, we have some prayer stations that a wonderful group have prepared for us, and um, it's going to be like a drop-in thing. So you can come anytime on Thursday between 9 and 4, and so there, there's going to be lots, of, and they're going to be spaced out, So that, and, and you just drop in whenever you want, so it's, it's going to be very safe, and you just kind of walk through at your own pace and visit each of the What kind of stations, stations are they? I think the Stations of the Cross. The Stations of yeah. the Cross. That would be wonderful. Yeah, so it's going to be very, uh, for Monday, Thursday, and for Good Friday, very uh, meditative mm -hmm. stations to kind of take your time and, and walk through Holy Week. And so Thursday, it's 9 to 4, and then on Good Friday, 9 until noon, you wouldn't want to come right at noon because noon is when the Good Friday service starts. Um, and so maybe a little bit earlier on Friday. And Christine, I understand that in the, during the prayer stations, at the end of the prayer stations, we'll have someone serving communion. Yes. Correct? Yes. yes. And it will be safely done with yep. gloves and all that. Yep. So, yep. so it will be meditative and, and prayerful and then communion yes. at the end. Yeah, it's going to be... It will yeah. be wonderful. You do not... You want to make sure you mark out a time to come and experience these stations yeah. and then at noon on friday we'll have our our good friday service which is going to be wonderful um and so that will be right at noon so plan on uh, doing both of those things during the week and then and then it's easter weekend yes, yes so yes, we yes. will be celebrating we will have our normal service times on the weekend saturday night at 5 p.m and then Sunday at 9 and 11, 10.30, 9 and 10.30. But the Sunday will be outside. Uh -huh. And then on top of that, we're going to have a 7 a.m. Sunrise, sunrise service mm -hmm. on Resurrection Sunday, Easter Sunday. Yes. And it's also going to be outside. Uh -huh. And so it's a great service, great way to start uh, your Easter day with. And then immediately after that, we are going to have a continental breakfast. Yes. And we're setting it up in a way that's safe. Uh, during COVID, it'll be sealed things. You'll get a 
a plate and everything, but if you want to come out for the sunrise <laughs> service, then you can stay for breakfast, then you can stay for the 9 o'clock service, or you can go home and sleep or do whatever you do. But uh, it is a, it's going to be a wonderful celebration, and we are going to be celebrating this year. We've just come out of a hard year, and, and we're still kind of in some things, but we're, we're starting to come out of it. So we're going to be celebrating Mm -hmm. Did you have a question, Christine? So it, on Sunday, car, golf cart. You can you can come in your car, golf cart. We're gonna have you can bring a lawn chair with you, but we're also gonna have about a hundred chairs set up outside, and we'll have them set up where they're distanced and stuff, so you can come. So you can come, but if if you have lawn chairs, bring those, or you can uh, bring your own chair, uh, or that we'll have chairs. Uh, and it's supposed to, right now, you know, we're still a week and <laughs> no a half away, rain. but it looks like the weather's going to be beautiful. Now, the one thing we've learned in the past, especially the sunrise yes. service, is that we do often have mosquitoes. So bring your mosquito spray, spray yeah. up before okay. you come. If you do that, you're fine. Yeah. Yeah. But, but you need to do that. So, uh, and, and here's the big thing about Easter as well. It's one of those... Holidays that a lot of people still go to. So we want to encourage you. We've made these just real basic little you're invited invite cards that have the times of the service, information about the church. Uh, we want to encourage you to pick one of these up this weekend in our worship services. Or if you don't, if you're still online, you can come by the church office and pick them up and invite a friend. Mm -hmm. It's a great weekend to invite a friend. It's still outdoors. Mm -hmm. So... Uh, you can come, you can all come in the same car or separate cars and, and uh, come and worship. So invite a friend to that service. We are working hard uh, to make it just a wonderful service and uh, it'll be a great day. Yeah. And, and again, if you want to come Easter weekend but you don't want to go outdoors, the Saturday evening service at 5 p.m. will be indoors. Yeah. So you can come in as well. So, so uh, it's going to be a that, great week next week. Other than that, this weekend... It's Palm Sunday, yes. Palm Celebration Weekend, uh, Saturday at 5, Sunday 9 and 10.30. So we'll have palms for everybody. And uh, if you come a little early, you can drive around our, our area and see the butterfly garden that yes. is just growing. And our new... A Baby. member of Lake Deaton UMC. <laughs> we have a, a Sand Hill Crane. Is that Baby. what it's called? Yes, Sand Hill Crane. Baby. Tiny little baby, you might spot it. Yeah. So. Uh, and usually uh, in the middle of the afternoon, around 5, they're walking around yeah. somewhere. Yes, so. yes. Uh -huh. All right. So we will see you this weekend. We will all be here. So yes. We'll see you. We'll yes. all be here. So all right. have a great rest of your day. Whenever you're watching this, we love you all. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.